Ouch. I didn't even know it was aluminum. Check this out. What up, what up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's a little dreary, a little rainy today, but that's not gonna stop us from knocking out some more stuff on this Jeep. In this video, we have to throw some more coats of paint on our gas tank set up here. We wanna make sure they're thoroughly coated to prevent any rust in the future. And in the last video, we kind of rebuilt our shocks, put some new rubber covers on them, put all the bushings on them. We're definitely gonna get a lot better performance out of them with the correct bushings and everything there. We also ran our brake lines throughout the Jeep and our fuel line here. We're definitely making huge progress forward and I am super pumped to get this thing started for the first time. But that said, we do have a few more things to knock out before we can go for our first start. In this video, we're going to be installing parking brakes to the rear drum brakes. I have no idea how I'm going to do that. So we're going to have to look up some parts diagrams, probably take the tire off the rim, take a look and just see how everything gets hooked up. I'm hoping to make some massive progress forward. Hopefully we're going to be getting our gas tanks taken care of, maybe even get some of the stuff from the old gas tank swapped over to the new one, maybe even start cleaning up our transmission to get ready for the full rebuild. This is definitely going to be an exciting video, so buckle up and get ready. Alrighty, we just got the wheel off. Let's take a look. As you can see, a lot of these springs are looking good. Actually, just like the color makes me think that they replaced a lot of this stuff in here. That looks really shiny, so that looks replaced, which is good. Unfortunately, the parking brake, which comes in the back here, is not connected to anything. So we're gonna try to open up the other side, and then hopefully we can match on the other side what it should look like here, and get these parking brakes installed. You getting this thing all broke loose? Did you take any of these off here? No, never. Really? Okay. This is the first time. Wow, first time. I need to get more dust caps. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. All right. Oh. All right. After hours of wrangling, finally got this thing out. That was pretty nasty. Uh, but we did see where it's connected to in here. Then we'll get our new one, get it mocked up, and see if we can get it attached. All right, we got this apart. We got the parking cable mounted up in here. Really, really nice. As you can see, there's a little bar back here that the parking cable connects to. But if you look on this other side, no such bar. So there's nowhere for the parking cable to connect to. I'll have to order that part up. But until then, we can go ahead and continue on with the fuel tank stuff. We just opened up the gas tank. Take a look in there. Definitely a lot of junk and a lot of goop. Probably not a bad idea that we're replacing the whole tank. We have the sending unit right here. We ended up testing this with a multimeter just to make sure it was good. And sure enough, when you move the float up and down, the ohms do change. So that means that this is good to go. We're making massive progress over here. I got these little rails painted up that go on the sides of this gas pan. I didn't realize my new gas pan didn't come with them, so that'll be good to do. You'll notice in the time lapse, I had to use some fire just to heat everything up. Ooh. 
Look at that. It's so pretty already. And then Nathan over here has been crushing this transmission. I didn't even know it was aluminum. Check this out, it's so much cleaner. Nathan, how's it been? It's been a lot of work, very messy. A lot of work, pretty messy. The transfer case is just as bad, so that'll be a fun one. I, hopefully there's less grooves in it, but man, mm -hmm. that is like night and day. We are prepped and ready to take this thing apart. We are going to be completely disassembling the transmission, rebuilding it, and we are hoping for no broken teeth on the gears inside. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. We've been cranking. We got the skid completely cleaned. I did have to weld some little areas where it had split and where they had that giant bracket welded to it. I made sure to remove it and then we patched that up. So now we got to wax and grease remove it. Hit it with some pour 15. We've been hard at work, come check this out. Again, turned out so good here. You're not gonna see a lot of it in the Jeep. I did buy it pre-owned on eBay, but this will be perfect for us. Right here is the fork and ball mount. This was broke off on mine. That's why I had to buy a new one. So this one will work much, much better. Over here, we got our first coat of Pour 15 on the skid plate here. I did have to weld it up in a couple spots, but we got it all back to where it needs to be. And I'll be doing a second coat of Pour 15 on there. And then finally, our parking brake cables here. This side is good to go. I'm happy with it. Everything's good. I gotta get this nut back on here but all the parking brake hardware is actually missing off the other side so i went ahead and ordered those parts should be here in a week and we'll get both sides buttoned up but i think we're going to take the opportunity to try and restore some of these rims obviously the tires have to be replaced i don't know if you can see here it looks like someone had a little sidewall mishap punctured the side of the tires so those are probably a little dangerous to ride on the road they'll be good enough for our little maiden voyage our little test drive but long term definitely going to get some new tires but as you can see here these cones need to be replaced and then maybe just some light sanding and then trying to repaint paint the rims to the best of our abilities. The other thing I would like to knock out is the backside of these wheels right here. Super dirty, super gross. I think I'm gonna try to clean them up and then maybe pour 15 those. Ideally, I would like to pour 15 the whole rear end. I just don't know how much access I have to all of this right now with these brake lines and whatnot on there. Who knows, maybe I'll just start sanding and cleaning and then see if we can get the whole rear end painted. We've been hard at work, lots of cleaning, lots of painting, lots of grinding, but everything looks brand new, which is super awesome. We are super close to getting this thing fired up for the first time. I am so, so excited. Again, a huge shout out to Nathan over here for helping me make so much progress. It really does help dividing and conquering, having two projects going at once makes everything so much faster. So that's a wrap. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Hit that like button if you enjoyed all the shenanigans going down in this video, all the dirt, all the cleaning. And if you're enjoying watching this thing get completely rebuilt. Enjoy your week and we'll see you in the next one.